guys, it is not Chef Ryan. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a lobster ravioli. Let's get in the kitchen. He's a little overweight and he likes to eat, but he's not a chef. He's not a chef. That's why he's not Chef Ryan. So we're going to start here by making our pink sauce. I'm adding 13 ounces of tomato puree, about a cup of heavy cream, and we're going to add about a half a cup of champagne. We're going to reduce our heat down to simmer. Give that a good stir. Add about two pinches of salt to this. Give it a stir. We're going to cover this and leave it on simmer while we prepare the rest of our food. So we're going to take a whole stick of butter here, preferably unsalted, and we're going to set that in the pan and let that melt. Okay, so our butter is completely melted here. We're going to take this up just a little bit past medium and we're going to allow that to cook. And what you're going to see happen is some of these proteins are going to start to rise to the top and a little bit of that liquid is going to evaporate off and this is going to turn kind of an amber color. This is called a burn noisette. It's a really rich, caramely, uh, nutty version of butter and it's going to taste great over our lobster. Okay, so it's a little bit difficult to tell in a dark pan, but as you can see, underneath the butter has just started to brown here. So I ran my burn noisette through a strainer, and this is about what it looks like when it's finished. It's got a really nice, rich aroma to it. So I've got some blush wine here, and I've uh, brought that to a boil, as you can see. I'm gonna place a lobster tail over this, and then we're gonna pour a little bit of this burn noisette over the lobster tail. And we're gonna cover this and allow that to steam for about four to five minutes. So I've added about 16 ounces of ricotta cheese here and two teaspoons of sweet basil that I chopped up. I'm gonna take my lobster tail, which I have diced into little pieces. And we're just gonna add the rest of this burn noisette to the top, just like that. Now we're gonna take this and add that to our ricotta cheese. Now we're gonna add just a little bit of salt. Two pinches should be fine. And I've got a little bit of egg here that's going to help act as a binder. And about a cup of chopped frozen spinach. And we're going to mix all this until it's well blended together. So I've handmade a sheet of pasta here. And if you need a video on how to make your own pasta and you don't have a pasta maker, check this link below for a video on how to do just that. I'm just going to take a little bit of our mixture here and we'll begin setting that on the pasta like this. So once you've got your mixture evenly placed onto the pasta, we're just gonna coat this with a little bit of egg to help seal the edges. Now that we've got our egg on there, we're just gonna take the pasta sheet and pull it over just like that. We're just gonna slice each one of these right down the middle. And with your fingers, you're just gonna press down real firmly around the edges of the ravioli. I'm gonna to try to make sure that air is not in there because that gas will expand when it hits the water and it will cause it to explode in your pot and you don't want a messy pot. Now we're just gonna trim the edges here with some scissors to make it neat. Now that these are prepared, we're just gonna go ahead and flash freeze them for a little bit in the freezer. Not all the way through, just to firm them up a little bit and then we're gonna be ready to stick them in our water. So I've got some water here and I've added a little bit of salt and oil to it and as you can tell this isn't a real tumultuous boil. I've just got it on about medium. These have uh, chilled out in the freezer for a little while so we're just going to lightly place each one into the water. We're going to allow that to cook for about four to five minutes. All right so these have cooked for about five minutes. We're going to go ahead and just plate up each individual one with a spoon just like that. Now we're just going to spoon a little bit of our pink champagne sauce here over the top. I'm just going to top this with a little bit of cheese. The lobster ravioli. It was awesome. I hope you guys try it and I hope you love this video. If you do, please give me a like or subscribe. Also, please check out my channel at Not Chef Ryan for more great videos on how to make simple things in your home. Until next time, this is not Chef Ryan saying love what you cook and cook what you love. Thanks for watching.